Hello, I'm Ellie Chang. Today I'm going to show you how to sponge paint a wall to create a full painting. This is an effective way to create an interesting look, add character to any room in your home. In this segment, I will show you an easy step-by-step -step method to create your own full painting. The simple tools you will need are sponges, paint brushes of various sizes, buckets for your paint, plastic plate will act as your palette, and most important of all, flat latex paint and acrylic glaze. The first step is to select the paint color which reflects the overall ambience you desire for the room. You can select from the warm, cool, or neutral color tones. A full spectrum of color swatches may be intimidating, and you could be overwhelmed by the hundreds of choices. However, an easy way to narrow down the selection is to use a paint chart, which contains the pre-selected colors create by the manufacturer, which you can find at any home decorating store. They have pre-mixed paint in light, medium, and dark tones. Let's select three shades to start. One color for the base coat, a darker shade, and a lighter shade for accent. Later, we will combine the darker and the lighter shade to create a color gradation to add depth to our design. If you have a light color wall as a base, the color you select should be darker shade. If you started out with a darker color wall, the color you select should be a lighter shade. For this room, I started out with a base that is a neutral tone. It's a pleasant color. However, I want to create more drama and add more depth to this very large and flat area. In selecting the colors, one should consider the surroundings. I have taken into consideration the granite table and limestone flooring. The colors I have chosen may appear to be muted and soft but for a large area, it will appear to be more intense and colorful. Be careful you do not choose colors that are too intense. The overall effect will be overpowering. There is one more consideration we must make before we begin. Do we want to make a design pattern or do we want to have an even texture throughout? There are many patterns to choose from. A diagonal pattern, a cloud design, or you can come up with your own design with unique colors and textures. Now we are ready to begin. First, be sure the wall is clean and free from dust and defects. You should use two-thirds paint and one-third glaze. This will make the paint more pliable and add a translucent quality to it. If you have natural sea sponges, you are ready to begin. But if you are using ordinary household sponges, you must first customize them by pinching off small pieces from the surface of the sponges. Lightly dip the sponge onto the plate and remove the excess. When applying the color, start with the darkest one. Then apply by dabbing onto the wall in a random pattern. Create a movement with the color by moving your arm in a steady rhythm. Every so often, take a step back to find the spots you may have missed and to see if the texture is evenly distributed. When you finish applying the darker color, it's time to add a lighter tone. Try not to overlap the two. Keep consistent movement so your design pattern will be nice and even. When you are finished with the lighter tone, step back once again and take a good look. Don't be alarmed if the color of the wall is overpowering at first. We still have a few steps to go before we are finished. 
Next, mix the darker and lighter colors into two to three different shades. Apply the other color tones to the wall to blend the design. Now you have a much more even texture throughout. I'm using a little white paint for the final touch. It reflects the light, adds texture to the wall and accents the soft background. Stand back and see if there are any final areas you need to retouch. If you are happy with the result, then your job is finished. Now you have seen how easy it is to create a full painting. It is an inexpensive, creative, and fun way to add life to any room in your home.